Buses make up the backbone of every public transportation system in America, transporting people to work, school, healthcare, and other destinations in every community in every state. Buses are the most widely used form of public transportation in the United States. During any given rush hour, as many as 48,000 buses drive the streets of America. Buses provide choices for people who don't own cars, people with disabilities, and people who prefer to leave their cars at home. FTA began investing in city bus systems in the 1960s, encouraging agencies to compete for funds to build and support bus fleets. Today, FTA programs fund transit buses and bus facilities in more than 3,000 agencies in cities, rural areas, and tribal lands across the country. FTA provides bus funding to states, transit agencies, and other recipients based on population and other factors. That funding generates significant economic development with hundreds of bus manufacturing companies and suppliers springing up across the U.S. to support bus programs with everything from wheels to seat covers. Competitive bus grants meet special local needs like fleet rebuilding, investments in bus equipment, and new transit centers. While the majority of our nation's bus systems serve riders in urban areas, many rural communities greatly depend on bus systems that receive support from FTA. City Utilities in Springfield, Missouri opened a new bus transit center in 2016 to improve traffic flow and better serve its passengers, who take about 1.5 million trips a year. FTA funding helped replace a 30-year-old transfer station and, with a new location on Main Street, will give local businesses a boost. In 2016, the Ohio Department of Transportation used FTA funds to purchase 112 replacement buses for 34 rural transit agencies throughout the state. The old buses had exceeded their useful life on average about 12 years. Geauga County Transit in Northeast Ohio received three new buses replacing older models that had logged more than 150,000 miles each. Geauga Transit provides on-demand service for residents from pickup through destination, offering a critical link to jobs, healthcare, grocery shopping, and other important activities. In Salt Lake City, buses provide a bridge to downtown and surrounding neighborhoods, taking passengers to job centers, schools, retail, and social services. When preparing to host the 2002 Olympics, the Utah Transit Authority ramped up its public transportation system, including its bus fleet. Now, many of those vehicles must be replaced. The buses also come with Wi-Fi and GPS that support real-time arrival apps, amenities much appreciated by riders. UTA's bus program provides a key link to the region's public transportation network, connecting to light rail, commuter rail, and the international airport. After years of funding research into low and no emission buses, which run on cleaner, quieter, and more efficient battery power, FTA began awarding grants for transit agencies to convert their aging diesel fleets to so-called low-no buses. Thanks to their efficiency and reduced need for repairs, buses running on battery electric technology are growing in popularity. In South Carolina, the city of Seneca paired with Clemson Area Transit, known as CAT, to convert its bus fleet to electric. With grants from FTA, the city has replaced its entire fleet with low-no buses. CAT also serves nearby Clemson University. In 2016, CAT received $4 million from FTA to purchase zero-emission battery electric buses to serve Clemson University and the city of Clemson. These are just a few examples of how FTA's bus programs improve public transportation for America's communities. For more information, visit our website.